Welcome to Fetier. In the winter. Because of the pandemic and the lockdown, everything's closed up at the moment. But all these clips were done before the pandemic. So maybe if you're gonna miss out on a summer holiday, you might consider Fetier or Turkey for a winter holiday. Fetier with its city status and well over 100,000 residents is a major summer tourist destination. But with its huge harbor, market, rural produce and various educational colleges and schools, it doesn't depend totally on tourism and with its Mediterranean climate is also a lovely place to be in the winter. So apart from a few tourist shops, Fetier is open as usual, the hotels, the restaurants and all the bars. And there's some great shopping too. Anything from handbags, shoes, jewellery, not to mention the latest fashions. And there's some really exclusive shops too. The weather is pleasant and cool in the evenings. And it's lovely to just sit at the harbour front and have your coffee and your breakfast. In the sunshine, of course. And of course you find everything is a little bit cheaper in the winter time. For instance, the hotels are doing great deals. There are lots of hotel deals in the winter time. And for the price you would pay for a standard room in the summer, you can now stay in an exclusive hotel in the winter. You rarely see any tourists, only a few travellers, and most of the town is busy from locals and expats who live here. And you can get some great deals on car hire too. It's lovely to eat outside, weather permitting, and the popular fish market is an interesting choice. The bars are all open, but they're very quiet in the week and only get busy at the weekends. Most of the restaurants have indoor seating and some have a cosy fire lit when it's really cold. Of course, Fetier is surrounded by ancient ruins and you couldn't have a better time to go wandering around them in the cool of the winter. Just a short walk at the back of the old town are the two and a half thousand year old rock tombs. And there's a small museum in the town. But not far away from Fetier are the fantastic ruins of Tulos, Katara, Xanthos and Kadianda.
there's also a fantastic park here and it's not just for the kids and in the evening they light it all up and it's really pretty. And something else worth mentioning is quite a few things are cheaper here. Prescription drugs, for instance, uh, private health care if you need an operation. Uh, you can get an MRI scan here the same day for £70. And of course, dentistry is a fraction of the price of the UK. And they use the most up-to-date techniques and equipment. At this practice, they all speak English and there's even a coffee shop inside. So while your partner's having dental treatment, you can get yourself a cup of coffee. And also the hairdresser, or the coiffeur as they call it, is much cheaper too. There are thousands of expats who live in and around Fetier, and there are always things going on all through the winter, especially at Christmas. Fetier is also very close to the resorts of Ulla Denise, Chalish and Isaranu. So this is Ulla Denise in November and uh, it's quite interesting that most of the hotels are closed off. There are one or two bars still open and there's a couple of paragliding centres which are still open as well. And the weather's beautiful, the beach is absolutely stunning. In comparison, this is Ulla Denise in the summer. I spoke to Harkan Koral, the owner of Deep Blue Paragliding, to see what was available through the winter. We are doing paragliding. We are doing the speedboat for two hours, three hours trip for oh, cool. people, for daily visitors. I'm gonna yeah. Say. If they would like to go diving. You've got diving We got diving now as well. On. If they would like to go to horse riding, still open. Really? If they would like to go quad <laughs> biking, still going to be open. Oh my God. That's but what I would like to do, look at the weather. I know, it's crazy. It's amazing. Isn't it? Obviously, this will all close if the weather's bad. If the so, weather's bad, like maybe like yeah. in some times of the January, February. Yeah, so that's yeah. cool. <laughs> We've known each other for years, yeah, so yeah, yeah. it's nice to talk to you anyway. Thank you. Cheers, yeah. matey. Nice to see you and for everything you do for us. Cheers. Thank you. Chalish is fairly well open all through the winter and in fact you get a sunny day especially at a weekend and uh, it's pretty well packed I couldn't even get a parking place in the back street and there's a few family run hotels that stay open all winter it's Sunday today so it's a bit livelier than usual but if the Sun comes out you get the local people Turks and also the expats all coming out and enjoying a bit of sunshine and having a drink and a meal and some of the places also have live entertainment on they still run a taxi boat into Fetier and you can hire a private boat if the weather's good. There's also a new fish market in Riverside Lacanta. And although the tourist shops are shut in the small back street at Chalish, there is a boot sale almost every weekend. And of course the market is on every Sunday all through the year. Selling a huge array of amazing fresh produce. Interestingly, the street next to where the market is on a Sunday has become popular with cafes and restaurants too.
including a new Chinese restaurant, a fitness centre and a bike shop. So this is a Saranu and it's a thriving place in the middle of the summer. Um, but as you can see in the winter time, in this main street, the shops are closed up and the restaurants and bars. But Isaranu is very close to a big residential area of Overjuk and because there's so many foreign people and Turks that live up here, there are some bars and restaurants open and if you go onto the Facebook pages and forums of Isaranu, you'll find that there's quite a lot going on. So as you can see, Fetier has got plenty to offer for a winter holiday. But with recent developments, how would we get here? Well, there are usually flights to Dalaman, and if not, there should be flights to Antalya. You'll have to check the internet to see what's available. And from Antalya, all you do is you hire a car or you get on the bus over to Fetier. So please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Oh, and follow me on Facebook, Mikamja.